Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing. It's Sunday, August 22nd. Uh, I want to give you a report today and I've been slacking the last couple of days. I've been busy on the water. So uh, consider this to be a two day report where I cover Saturday, uh, August 21st and Sunday, August 22nd. Uh, before I do that though, if you like my YouTube channel and you find these videos helpful, make sure you click on that subscribe button. And then if you like the videos, click on the like button. Awesome, let's get into the report. So I'll start with Saturday. Uh, Saturday, I got out uh, Saturday morning with a couple of buddies of mine uh, looking for a nice big derby fish. And let me tell you, it was a grind, an absolute grind. Uh, we struggled to put fish in the boat. Um, you know, it was uh, it was uh, almost a full moon. I think that had something to do with it. But like we could not put a program together on Saturday morning. Um, you know, we had a couple of bites, but it was nothing, uh, nothing crazy and pretty disappointing. So Saturday uh, evening came. Oh, before I get into that though, what I would say about Saturday morning is there was hooks everywhere, lots of followers, lots of streakers, lots of bait. It was like they had the all, all you can eat buffet of bait again and they weren't hungry. Anyways, Saturday afternoon came, I went out to the same, uh, same area because I knew there was fish there and the first thing I noticed was not as much bait and it was game on and we had a whole bunch of bites. Um, the 111 Rigger was absolutely money as was the 250 Mag Diver. I think we took pretty much all of our fish on uh, Saturday evening on, uh, on those. And the reason being is your surface temperature now is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It is warm water. And I wasn't starting to see t cool temperatures until we got into the 90 plus feet down range. And that's why it was a deep bite. So Sunday morning came, had some, uh, had some guys I know from many, many years ago, Phil and his buddies, uh, they came out from Bradford to, uh, to fish with me this morning. And, uh, you know, so set up in the same spot right in front of, uh, the marina fishing towards the filtration plant and the, uh, the barge, uh, 150 to 200 feet of water. And we trolled, uh, we trolled, uh, west towards the city. And before you know it, we had a good fish on the, good fish on the downrigger. Uh, as we're getting that one in a diver hit, as we're getting that one in another, uh, downrigger hit and we're tripled up. Uh, biggest in that particular, uh, you know, triple was I think 18, 19 pounds and a couple of smaller fish and the, and the boys were happy. We had three in the box. A little bit of time passed. I uh, got reset up. Uh, 111 uh, downriggers down again and it fires. And this fish is a monster. It's Phil's turn. He's on deck. He's fighting the fish like a pro. Um, you know, and as I, as I get the fish close to the boat, I've got the, I've jumped in both trolling bags to really slow the boat down. You know, slowing it down from my 2.3 trolling speed to about 1.2, 1.3 at that point with the two bags, just to make it easier to net, uh, to fight the fish and net the fish. And it's it's a monster. The head on it is massive. It's a bit short, but it's got a massive head, massive body. We get it in the boat. We put it on uh, put it on my boat scale, and it's reading 29.2 on the boat scale. So we're pretty we're pretty pumped. The only problem is we're only an hour into the charter. We're not going to race back to weigh a 29 pound fish. So. I, uh, I put it on top of the other fish, make sure the ice packs are around it in my, in my Yeti, and uh, we try and keep the fish cold. cold. Long and short of it, we kept fishing, uh, you know, f finished out the, uh, the five hour charter, and uh, ended up with, I think, 12 or 13 uh, fish. Really, really good morning trip. Uh, the stud rods today was that 111, uh, you know, feet down downrigger rod. It was running a uh, King, uh, Oki Kingfisher uh, paddle, green with a uh, crushed glow on it and a uh, green uh, transparent uh, hot fish bait head. And then uh, that was that was the number one stud rod. The second stud rod, many of you are not gonna believe this. Many of you will not run this rod, but uh, today was a day to run it. I only ran a five rod spread. This was rod number five. I had a 400 copper down the chute with an eight inch uh, green e-chip and a hot fish nemesis fly. And that was the second stud rod. I think that took five or six bites. No one likes reeling in a 400 copper, but when it's taken fish, you deal with it. Anyways, that was uh, that was today's report. It's uh, about 11:30. I got to I got to get home now. Going out uh, going going out this evening. Not going to run a charter or, or a trip this afternoon. Um, but uh, good fishing. Lots of fish between uh, the marina and the barge uh, bluffers. Anywhere from 150 to 200, 220 feet of water. I was getting bites today. Um, the only thing I would say is if you're looking for some real, real big fish, I probably wouldn't fish the bluffers water the next little while. I'm hearing lots of great reports out of Port Credit, out of Brawny, out of Oshawa, 
you know, a lot of the uh, a lot of the ports with uh, tributaries or uh, rivers, um, they're starting to see a lot of real good stagers and a real good big fish. So if you want some big fish, I would probably uh, set up there. But anyways, that's the that's the deal. Phil's fish, uh, we did weigh it in. We'll have to see what it uh, where it lands. It'll probably be in the top ten as of today. But we'll have to see if it can hold the distance this week, as I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of big fish weighed in this week. Anyways, have a great day. If you're out in the water this week, good luck and please stay safe. Talk to you later. Bye.